Warning, the healthcare tips provided in this video should in no way be a substitute for emergency medical care. Also, the following video contains stunts performed either by professionals or under the supervision of professionals. Accordingly, we suggest you do not recreate or reenact any of the stunts or activities performed in this video. Hello, and welcome to the first ever video of College Remedies. Today, we will be going over two common injuries that could occur on your campus. The first injury is known as epitaxis, which is also known as a bloody nose. The second injury we will be covering is known as orbital hematoma, also known as a black eye. We have prepared for you today scenarios that will demonstrate how these injuries can occur. And after these videos, we will show you how to manage these problems. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hey everyone, this is orbital hematoma, aka black eye. To treat a black eye, you want to get ice and place it over the affected eye. Once the ice is over your eye, you want to hold it there for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes is up, you can put it down, rest for 30 minutes, and then uh, put it back on for another 20 minutes after the 30 minutes is up. You want to repeat this constantly and um, to help reduce swelling and pain. Uh, you can also take NSAIDs such as ibuprofen which will help with pain as well. My nose! Oh, my nose! Hello. The first step in treating a bloody nose, you want to give uh, your friend either a gauze pad, tissue, or paper towel. You want to have them hold it and pinch their nose and uh, lean forward. This will help stop the bleeding. Once uh, that's on, you want to put on some form of protection, either latex gloves if you have any, or just anything really as a barrier to help stop blood from getting on your skin. Uh, once your gloves are on, you want to replace the gauze that your friend has with a new one, and you want to have him pinch again and lean forward. While he's doing that, you want to go over, get some, if you have some ice, uh, you want to apply this ice to the back of his neck or to the bridge of his nose. This will help slow the bleeding. Uh, some common mishaps people have when dealing with bloody noses is sometimes they say the lean back. That is not true. You do not want to do that. Blood will start flowing down your throat, and that is not fun, ladies and gentlemen. Um, another common thing people do is blow their nose. You do not want to do this either because bleeding will continue and won't stop. Um, for a quick relief or the blood keeps coming out, you can stick a little piece of gauze or tissue or tampon works too, up into the nostril and it absorbs the blood. Once uh, bleeding has stopped, you can clean off the blood. I hope you enjoyed our uh, first video of College Remedies. So I want you to tune in next week. <laughs> If you catch me at the border